I got a jar of dirt, I got a jar of dirt. Hey guys, me host you bizarre, thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. This'll be the day that you almost reviewed Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> It's Jack Sparrow from the Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. This is the Jack Sparrow action figure from Diamond Select Toys. And I can't believe it took them this long to release this figure. He looks awesome, by the way. The likeness to death is pretty good here. Um, I'm really excited to break him out of the packaging. Uh, as you guys know, I'm a big Disney fan. I remember Pirates of the Caribbean long before it was a movie. I went on the ride when I was a kid in Disneyland Paris. And then when I was 11, I went for the first time to Florida and got to ride Pirates of the Caribbean in Florida. Still need to pay homage to Disneyland and go out to Disneyland in California. I haven't done that yet. But we are going to be doing uh, Disney World again this coming March. Very excited. And I'm hoping to pick up some more of the park generic merchandise for Pirates. But until then, we do have this awesome Captain Jack Sparrow that has been, given, that has been released by Diamond Select. I bought this from Comics and Cocktails with my own money. And it looks absolutely awesome. So if we turn it around, it has a nice artist rendering shot there of Jack Sparrow. And there's also a write-up which states, Johnny Depp returns to the big screen for the iconic swashbuckling anti-hero Jack Sparrow in an all-new adventure, Pirates of the Caribbean, at, sorry, Dead Men Tell No Tales. This rip-roaring adventure finds down on his luck Jack, Jack feeling the winds of ill fortune blowing strongly his way when deadly ghost sailors led by the terrifying Captain Salazar escape from the Devil's Triangle, bent on killing every pirate at sea, notably Jack Sparrow himself. This 7-inch action figure is approximately 16 points of articulation and character-appropriate accessories. Let's go ahead and break him out of the packaging. My box arrived absolutely destroyed. Gutting. But... What can you do? Right. Okay. Oh, we have like a... We have like a little scenery bit to pose with him to do with him here. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, so that slot's on there. That slot's on there, does it? Ah, uh, okay. Hang on, no, that can't be right. Hang on, hang on a minute. What's going on here? I can't work this out. Um, I can't work out a kid's toy. I feel so stupid. So they must slot together. Because then that one goes there. And that one goes there. There's like no instructions in the box to do this. Yeah. Right, so there's like the... Then we have them bits. And that bit. And these bits slot into there. What a random little Dio to put with him. So basically that. <laughs> random. Okay, so we've got a little, the, the random little Dio piece that goes with it. We'll put that there. He also comes with a display base, but there's no base on there's no details on it. So let's put that on one side. Okay, that took me longer than I hoped. Let's get this character out. <laughs> oh, we've got tape on the side of this thing. Oh. 
Diddy, deep, deep, deep. Is this so black? Alright, so here is Jack Sparrow out of the packaging. Okay, so we do have a holster for the for the sword. Does that come off his hand then? Yes, it does. Right, okay, cool. That's alright then. So, so it comes with two open palm hands naturally, which is fine because Jack Sparrow does kind of have the kooky hand thing going on. So I'm cool with that. Um, and he's got painted nails, which is nice. Rings and things on his fingers. I like how he's got all the little beads and things in his hair. That's pretty cool. And his beard. Um, articulation, so the head can move up and down pretty well. It is hindered by the hair at the back. And obviously left and right. Again, hindered by the hair a lot. And obviously when you move his hair left and right, it also pushes this little satchel thing for the sword away, which is annoying. And lift out this side hinge to also rotate. There's also single hinge elbows that also rotate as well. Hands on little ball joints as well. I'm just moving these joints slowly because I know Diamond Select have a... They're notorious for cracking and breaking very easily. So the jacket can come off and lift out, which is nice. And there's a little crunch there at the abdomen, which is nice, and also swivels. The legs do lift out pretty wide as well. Um, there's a top thigh cut as well as a double hinged knee and a boot cut and the feet are on rocker and pivot There are display holes obviously because the um, we've got the little display base so he has got holes in his feet for that um, He does come with a sword which is all black with a slight silver to it Which is pretty cool but you'll see that probably better on the desk cam And it comes with a hand to grab it with um, although you can remove it from this hand which is nice, so you can remove the sword and place that in his little holster on Jack's arm. Although it doesn't seem to, it seems very high up for what it is. I wish it was a little bit lower. And I wish he came with his gun. It comes with his, um, it comes with his compass, but it's attached to his, his jacket, uh, sort of his, cloth, his costume. So I wish that was like removable, so you could put it in his hand and things like that. But yeah, he's missing his single shot pistol for me, which is annoying. But he does come with his other hand, which is the sword hand. So you can change out this left hand here to put the sword in his hand, which is nice. But I do like the fact that it's, it's very articulated, and obviously with the hands being up, it is that that's very much Jack Sparrow. You can get him in some good poses and things like that. Dun, 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 dun. So yeah, it is a very cool figure. Let's go on straight down, down to the desk cam where you guys will be able to see this properly. So let's head on down to the desk cam. Oh yes, this will always be the day you'll remember as the day you almost caught Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> this is an awesome action figure, guys. He looks absolutely brilliant. I've kind of managed to pose him as well, where I've tried, where I've actually got managed to get the hand on the hilt of the blade, which is nice, and the other hand kind of doing the kooky Johnny Depp thing with the hands out, sort of stretched out all. Trying to make him look a bit unbalanced. Uh, the figure is really nice. The likeness is there. You can tell who it's trying to be without it being an overly John, Johnny Depp action figure. So I do like that. We don't get many pirate figures. So it's very cool when ones like this come out. I'm still hoping at some point for a more articulated, more accessories version of a Jack Sparrow. Because we've yet to get a proper one. I'm not. I've, I'm, to be fair, I've not, I've not looked up if SHF figure arts have done one or anything like that. I need to look up if Bandai's made one already. But I would love to see a more articulate figure with more accessories. Because I think there's a lot you could do with a Johnny Depp uh, Jack Sparrow action figure. Especially with all the accessories he comes with. Like I said, the flintlock pistol, the different swords. the diff You could have so many different hand expressions, facial expressions. Uh, with the hat, without the hat. You know, there's so many different versions. I'd love one that came with a removable clothes, like, like the removable uh, jacket as well. So we had the white shirt on underneath. There's so many variants we could get. And I'm surprised that nobody's ever cashed in on that because I think it would be an awesome range of figures. But for now, we're talking about this Diamond Select figure. And don't get me wrong, as much as I'm talking about how much I'd love to see something else, this figure is still very good for the money value here. This only costed me $22.99, which is a bargain of a price. And the figure, like I say, is absolutely awesome. You can pick this up from comicsandcocktails.co.uk as well as amazon.co.uk. They don't pay me to say this, I just like to use that retailer, especially Comics and Cocktails, one of the best retailers out there, in my opinion. But you can also use Kapow, you know, Kapow Toys and also In Demand Toys. I'm not sure if they've still got this guy in stock, but they're also available options as well. 
This figure though, like I keep saying, it is immaculate, looks perfect. They've done a great job with the figure. And let's just take a little closer look at that facial sculpt. So as you can see, it's not the best likeness of Johnny Depp. It's not massively accurate, but you can still tell who it's meant to be, which is what I like. And the fact that it doesn't scream scream Johnny Depp means that um, you know you can do a lot of action figure photography with it without you know overshadowing the fact that it's Johnny Depp, if that makes sense. He also comes with his little display piece here, which they've added in, which is like a little diorama, and that, that's just knocked my back. <laughs> background off almost but yeah uh, there is that as well and if i just stand him on that so that does look pretty cool as well i'm not sure what i'm going to use that thing for yet it does look like a um it's meant to be the back of the ship i think but it does actually look like a you know a, a dock that you were standing if you were you know in like a courtroom kind of kind of thing so that might be useful for other things so i'll hang on to it and see where else we can use that but like I say, it does look very cool on it, and I think it's a cool accessory. He also does come with this spare hand as well, which will actually hold his sword, which is nice. Um, I'm not overly bothered for that hand right now. I'm not going to be using it just yet. I'll be keeping that in my uh, accessories drawer for now, uh, because I like the hand that, that has come. Oop, I like the hand that has come with the figures. You know, the open palm hands, and I like him holding the end of the blade with the open palm hand like that. I'm not particularly good about having it drawn, as I don't have any other sort of pirate action figures to pose him off against, sadly. So he's going to be more of a just holding on to that there like that for me. But guys, what are your thoughts on this figure? Let me know in the comments down below. If you did enjoy this review, then hit that like and subscribe button for me. And let me know your thoughts in the comments. But let's head on back to the main cam and finish off this video. Guys, what are your thoughts on this Jack Sparrow? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's review, then please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us. It really helps us out. And it helps us to keep making awesome videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and until next time, may the Force be with you. And remember, dead men tell no tales. Bye!